30 years of mystery, the remains of a local teenager have finally been identified. And she was known for decades as Fly Creek Jane Doe because her body was found near that creek in remote Clark County. Well, now detectives know her name was Sandy Morden, but they don't know who killed her. Sandy Morin's remains sat unidentified in Clark County Sheriff's evidence since her body was found February 24, 1980, by men panning for gold. She was discovered near the bridge at Fly Creek, and through the years, detectives tried releasing different composite sketches, hoping someone would identify her. In this Columbian article, shortly after she was discovered, detectives talked about her extensive dental work, hoping it would ring a bell with someone. So you've worked really hard on this. Yes. It wasn't until recently that Detective Lindsay Schultz got a breakthrough. I cold called a individual and within seconds she said, you're calling about my cousin Sandy. Wow. Yeah, huge success. Schultz worked with Parabon Nano Labs, which took DNA from a tooth to come up with a composite of what she likely looked like. Then Parabon compared her DNA profile to other people in public databases to find likely family members. They told her Sandy disappeared in 1977. That led to Sandy's picture and the identity of her father, Andy, and her mother, Irene. No picture of Sandy's mom has been released, and both parents died a long time ago. So we think that people are still here locally that will remember either Andy or San Sandy, um, and even maybe mom that can fill us in on another piece of the puzzle that may lead us to who's responsible for her death. Detective Schultz tells me uh, they ruled out suspected serial killer Warren Forrest because he was already locked up when she disappeared. And the detective thinks it is also unlikely that Ted Bundy is to blame. New